I'll talk about the person I met when I was young. In 1980X, we found the BAD's top secret material called Albatross, which was never put into practice. Until... Imperial Forces Generalissimo Kilt has seen the plan, and decided to execute the plan himself. The Federation tried to stop his attempt by sending our hero Super Joe, but lost contact with him. One brave man was sent with a special mission, to rescue Super Joe. The story begins. It's from headquarters. The command is as follows. Enter into the enemy area, rescue Super Joe while staying in touch with agents. There are many agents in Area 1 now. First, go see them. We rely on you. Hello everybody and welcome to the first installment of the Bionic Commando Trilogy. So the way this is going to work, I, as you noticed, I'm actually using the trailer thing that I used uh, last month. And it's going to serve as the opening sequence to these things. Um, as of recording, I have not quite settled on a closing theme yet. This is going to be like an episode of a TV show. Almost. Uh, except you're going to see me on here playing and, and goofing off and doing generally fun things. Um, again, this is going to be the trilogy. So we start with an NES one, then we do the remake, and then we do 2009. This is MA-1. I've been waiting for you. Many of our agents have already infiltrated the sectors you will be traveling. To contact them, you must find a communication room. Your success depends on staying in touch. You should be able to wiretap and intercept important information. Ignore all dangers and proceed to the open door. We'll contact you later. Ignore all dangers, he says. He says ignore all dangers. Right. Now, as you notice, like, at the be very beginning, I wasn't on screen. Um, and, and I'll stay off screen, like, like my mug will stay off screen, during the uh, more important um, things. Like, when, when I actually get to rescue Super Joe, I'll be off screen, um, that sort of thing. Whoop! Aw, boom! Oh yeah, that's one thing this game does have. Well, that I can use on this game, that this controller has. Turbo! <laughs> uh, yes. Motherfuck. That was bad timing on my part. That's okay. We all have those days. I'll ignore you. Now, as you know, as you see, bullets. You get enough bullets, you'll get some HP. <laughs> you start out as a one hit point wonder. I think you can get like up to ten, eight or ten um, hit points, and before you get, before you know you just max out. Uh, okay, let's communicate. Area 4 is an arsenal. Maybe we can find good weapon we can use. Really? Did it... Would it have bothered you to find... 
on a way to make that plural. Really? Ah, oh, well. Yeah, you'll notice wiretapping is another one, but it's a more risk. It's risky because you might get caught, and I do not want to be, uh, at least not at this point in the game, be between two uh, guys with knives at, at close range. Because interestingly enough, the guys with knives take more hits than the guys with the guns. I don't know why. Ah! Can't do that. Oh, look at this. My friends are trying to send me a message. Boom! One up. <laughs> Let's see how many of those I actually will need. Come on, somebody jump down here. Yes! You want a party? You want a party? Let's party. There we go. Ah. Uh, I am so used to playing rearmed at this point that some of these things are like, oh shit. Oh, hey, look at that. Boom. Okay. So, you think you can destroy the main system? You have no chance. Oh, yeah? Watch me. Take you out easily. You're not, you're not even armed, and you take more hit points and boink. <laughs> That's one of the things I like about this game. You can, like, bounce off of soldiers' heads and shit. That's hilarious. But these main reactor systems, all you really have to do is just destroy the main reactor. Everything else will disappear, and you'll finish the level. Even when you ha you're supposed to have climactic boss battles, you can just take that out and you'll beat the thing. We got energy recovery pills. Well, they're not so much pills as they are a, a medicine jar. But hey, you know, at this point we can select them, press start, and there you go. You have instant energy. Like that. You know, it, it works like the potions in Zelda, by the way. So, you know. And who are you? What are you doing here? I'll take care of you. Super Joe? I'm sorry, but I don't know anyone named Super Joe. This is kind of face he has. It's like you would have that voice, you know? Do you ever see somebody's face and think, you know what, it sounds like you would have a certain kind of voice. And then you hear them and it's like, I did not expect that voice to come from that face. Uh, but we got some flare bombs here. Push start button to use them. But what if I have one if I want the medicine? Well, there we go. Flare bombs. Yay! Uh, spikes? Spikes are not instant death, which is weird for a Capcom game. But then again, most of my Capcom gaming comes from Mega Man. But uh, what they do do, what they do manage is um, three points of health. <laughs> so if you have three points of health or less, you're, you're dead. Um... So this one, you need flares. And you'll notice I haven't been mutzing around with the communicators yet. You'll see you'll see them a little bit mutzing around later. Oh, hello. You have this without the thing. Ooh, dear. Yeah, I'm trying to be all slick. There we go. I almost paid for that, too. Shit. That is a knife guy. That is who I was talking about. Not being in between for right now. Hello. Do, do. Okay, basic rule of every level. Get to the communication room. Get to the boss room. Sometimes you have more than one communication room. This is M8. Use this communicator in areas 1, 4, and 5. We had hide the other three, which you must find. Okay, that's fine. You know, that's, that's not a problem. I, I can get behind that. I mean, you gotta, you gotta have the game, you know, game's gotta have its own little bouts of difficulty in some way. Boom! There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna love this turbo. <laughs> love it long time. Down there is just, you know, I think it's a bunch of spikes or whatever. Either way, you'd have to, you have to climb up here anyway. So may as well stay up here as long as you can. I'm apparently having a good day for uh, swinging around on the bionic arm. Um, oh, this is, this, you're going to see what I mean by, uh, bypassing bosses. You're a fool if I think you'll, if you think I'll let you have any weapons. Prepare to meet your doom. Okay, whatever. Yeah, he can fire straight up through the things. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here just, eh, whatever. That, that boss, I don't worry about. He's not in my way, unless I get down there. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, 
but to, to beat that boss, you have to get behind him and shoot him in the back. Uh, so, you know, hey. Alright. Area 15. Now, these pink ones, I didn't mention it before. These pink ones, they're neutral areas. So, what are neutral areas? Well, obviously, you can't attack anybody. If you try and attack somebody, they will come down and try and kill you. Simple as that. Out of the way! Here comes the leader of the Imperial Force! Make way for Mr. Kilt! Generalissimo Kilt. Yay. FF Battalion! A dog of the Federation! I'll teach them not to mess around with us. If they don't want to shorten their lives, they'd better be quiet. Uh... Geez, you think he's the villain? Just a little bit? Hmm... Yeah. The good thing about rearmed, though, is rooms like that with the uh, one-ups and everything. Oh, there was a wall in the way. Well, the walls go away, but they try and attack you. So you get to see case in point. <laughs> oh, lordy, 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 lordy. And, and I apologize for like kind of sticking down, like looking down over here. Um, I, I, I do get sometimes distracted by the shiny on the iPad, but that's okay. It also holds a, you know, timer too, so, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just do this. Yeah, get out of here. Alrighty. Oh, and we get to go into the next part of the game. <laughs> I say next part, but another feature of this game. If you come across an enemy truck, you go into one of these areas, these scenarios here. Ah, fuck. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, careful, careful. Whatever you do, do not that. Basically, what you have to do is just get to the end. And there you go. Yeah, I like what they do with it in the in the uh, remake, though. <laughs> Which you'll see. Which you, you will see. And as you can see, I also picked up a second communicator. The orange one. This is not going to be useful until the end game. But it's good to have it now. That way, you'll have it there. Who knows, maybe by the time Endgame pops around, those walls won't be there. Or maybe you'll have ways of just getting rid of the walls. Maybe you'll have, maybe you have to equip the fucking iron boots. I don't know, I've never tried it. <laughs> huh, that might be, might be an extra thing or something I put in. Okay. So, Area 5, you have to swing up, 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 and up. And this one has two communication rooms. You actually have to... What the hell? That was weird. That was weird. Weird, man! Okay. Communicate, yes. This is M5. We have located the underground passage, which is not on the map. I think we have found something. Probably a helmet or something. I don't know. Again, I, I am foregoing wiretapping because, yeah, I, I don't want to get caught and surrounded by dudes with... Ow. Fuckers. Well, that's why I have medicine. Yeah, it's kind of strange. I don't normally require the medicine very often. Huh. There we go. Those things are annoying. Are those plain guys? Uh, oh, just a bullet. Well, every bullet counts. Okay, get out of my way. Out of my way. Eh. Well, that works. Ah, motherfuck. Get out of my... Motherfucker. Out of my way. Ah, eh, that was stupid. Eat, duck. Duck and proud of it. I don't care what you say, I like Howard the Duck. <laughs> uh. Are you from the Federation? I'm a spy for the Federation. I just saw that Joe was taken away. They headed towards Area 8. Oh, okay. So we, we have an idea where Joe is going. Okay. Area 8. Which means we're going to have to power up a hell of a lot. So, okay, I, I 
touched on it a little bit at the beginning of the video, but it's, in terms of video format, it's probably going to be like 30 minutes, which for this game, it's like, ha 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 ha, it's not going to get, it's going to take just maybe two episodes to get through this particular one. Ah. Oof. Uh-oh. Oh! Lucky me. Hey! We're at the top. Let's fight a boss. Oh, this guy. Pull, pull, pull! We have found an intruder! We are going to attack! I don't know why they sound like Stitch, but hey. But these guys are easy. Just They just kind of meander up and down. I died to one. That was horrible. And even then, if you can get behind him and just wrap it like this, there you go. <laughs> oh. oh lordy, so Area 5 is cleared. We've got the rocket launcher. Strongest weapon in the game. Yeah, I'm going to be equipping it a lot. You know, what was that thing that John Tron called, what, Dominant Theory? Uh. Game Theory Time! If you are presented with an ultimate weapon of destruction, you will always use it. Hey, I have 4 HP now. <laughs> Hi, who are you? Welcome. There's Beta Communicator inside. I think that's Beta. Either way, it's green, and we're going to need this, so. And we don't have to worry about a fucking wall in the way. Get the heck out of here, you nerd! Okay! Well then. My. Oh, hey. Hey, this guy. Uh, I think he just gives some advice. Yeesh. What do you have to say? Don't be hasty! Advance with caution! Yeah. Tell that to a speedrunner. And those things, we'll see more of those later on. Those things will hurt you, they can kill you, and here you can't fight back. That's what you call not fair. Now I do want now I do want everybody to note something between this game and the next game. You cannot jump on your own. I'm going to drill that into your heads. Yeah, it's going to be a reminder to everybody. There will be a grim reminder of the fact that that uh, Lad Spencer, or Rat Spencer, Nathan Spencer, cannot jump. Yes, I used all three of his fucking names, because it's the same guy. And because, you know, Department of Redundancy Department is working overtime. Hmm. This is probably one of the best tracks from the original game. In fact, it's... I, I like how, I like how they did the uh, tune in the oh hello die death to midgets boy that sounds horrible they put the midgets in those okay yeah fuck it's fucking Nazi allegorial motherfuckers okay communicate if you have a wide cannon and rocket launcher go towards areas three and six okay that's really that's it. Okay. Yay! But you can swing around like Tarzan. You can't jump, but you can swing. Hey, look at this. Boop! Hi, how you doing? And boop, right in the door. <laughs> Attack! Let's show what the second platoon can do! Okay. Yeah, I can actually ignore you up there, sir. Oh, hello. Trying to fire at me from behind? What the fuck do you think you're doing? Ugh. Alright, area two is cleared. We get the pendant. The pendant reflects one bullet. I've heard people say it only works once, but uh, I th 
I want to say it actually works more than once. Like, once per life. Oh, well, what time are we at? Oh, we're, we're doing well on time. Alright, area three. We basically just go in. Uh, and we're introduced to something that's not introduced or used in the rest of the goddamn game. The remake makes it quicksand, but this looks more like just a, a really thick snowbank. Oh, those things! You let one of them chomp you, you will die immediately. It, it's, it's like one hit kill. You know, it's like getting hit with a key. Oh! Now that's fun! Hitting these things with a bionic arm and watch them float down and die. Genetic, genetically enhanced moths. Oh, hello! There we go. Whew, that was a little tense. Whee! Hi! Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're not expecting it... Alright, communicate. Okay, we are going to open the door of the boss's room. Okay, good. Um, where is it? I'll show you where it is. You gotta traverse over these spikes. Now see, here's the fun thing. I'm sure a lot of people back back in the day wanted to try and get up there, see what was up there. Doesn't look like you can. You, I think you can, I think you really can. It's just there's nothing up there. So they turned that into a point in the remake. <laughs> you find some secret stuff in there. All right, there we go. Now you have to traverse all these spikes. Oh, oh shit! Fuck! Ah, well then. Okay. This one... Oh, yes it does. Okay. I was about to say, this one's just gonna just just let me do the thing. Nope, it drops! Uh... And... Get it! No! Fuck! You know, I'm usually better at that. How many lives? How many lives? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm alright. Well, I did pick up a couple of extra lives at one point, so I think I should be okay. Ooh. So as long as I don't fuck things up too badly. Okay. <gasps> oh, good. Good. Oh, you again. Pull, pull, pull. We have found an intruder. We are going to attack. Oh yeah, rocket launcher. <laughs> Just one. Rocket launcher makes things so much better. Mm. Pardon me while I get some water. Mm. Ah. The rapid fire device. I still, to this day, don't really know what use there is of it for it. Area 6. Now, I could try and go to Area 14, but you can't get in without a passport. Which is where Area 6 comes in handy. Um, Area 6 actually does not have... Um, a communication room, so it doesn't matter which communicator you take in. Oh, look, a one-up. Look at that. It's a, it's, it's a lad plushie. I want a lad plushie. Can I get a rad plushie? I want a Spencer plushie. You know, I want to get like a like a Spencer plushie like that. That'd be kind of cool. Hmm. Uh, okay, there we go. These guys, new enemy types. They'll throw out remote things that'll just come and just harass you. And this, if you're not, if you're not well versed in uh, swinging the bionic arm, you will be by the time you're done with this level. Which, oh, by the way, something I did neglect um, in the overhead area that you saw me fight through. Shit! In the overhead area you saw me fight through. Um, I picked up little eagle symbols. Those are continues. Whew! That was close. Oh, there we go. Now this is... This part, there's one big way to do it. You just... Go up through the floor. Uh, come on, thank you! No, I said the floor, not through the thing. God damn it. Okay, oh, and slow down too. There we are. 
Almost. Almost there. Ah! You! Come here! Die! Okay. Oh. Is that a long health bar, or are you just happy to see me? You've come very far, but you're not going anywhere from here. Pay your dues now. Um, yeah, this guy. He does have a long-ass bionic arm himself. He will pull you towards him and try and kill you. Uh, but you play it safe like I just did. He's not a problem. And tactically, yes, you can get behind him and do that, but he'll still be pulling you in by the bionic arm. Uh, we've got a permit. Okay, letter, permit, whatever. This is what we need to get into Area 14. Alright, let's transfer. Area 14. Ugh. And this is one of those things we have to reset the start item. Now we have to hit Area 14 before we go to Area 8. Um, because Areas 8, 7, 8, and 9... Oh! I have this communicator you want. I don't know if that's Delta or, or, or what. I don't know, but it's blue. Daba dee daba die. There you go. Daba dee daba die. Whee! What's in here? Probably more bullets or something. Hey! Holy shit, that's a lot of bullets. Fuck. They only last for so they're only on screen for so long. Oh well. But yeah, wow. I I'm just plowing through this. <laughs> oh, but you know, that's okay. Um let's let's transfer over to area eight. Maybe we'll run into a truck, I don't know. But um but, yeah, I kind of wanted to make these go about 30 minutes. But, you know what? I'm at a good point. We're halfway through. Um, so, we're going to we're gonna end it here. And the next time, we'll probably end up finishing up the game unless I get really bad luck or something. Um, because so far, it's been really good on my luck. Uh, we've got sorry, six, more, six more white areas, three more pink areas, and we even have the hidden tunnels, which we will find out about next time. So, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.